Hey everybody, welcome back to 5D Tea with me. This time I want to explore the concept and the notion of what it means to live bigger. So I took some time for myself. I went on a trip to Sedona a couple of weeks ago and I really just needed a reset. And I was on a run, I was on a trail run, and there was this beautiful open space overlooking this butte. And I thought, you know, instead of just running past all of this and really not taking the time to engage with the landscape that I'm in, because Sedona is truly a magical place, um, I was gonna sit and I was going to attempt to meditate, which I don't always recommend doing in the middle of a run because it's a lot of hormones and chemicals in the body that are trying to um, combat each other. But in this case, it ended up working out. And um, I sat quietly for a little bit and just kind of calmed the body down and then dropped into a meditation. And what came out of that meditation is what's prompting this today. And that is that I need to be living my life bigger, that I have been living um, too small for too long, and that it's time to step out of my comfort zone and step into the new next chapter of my life. And so I really took that to heart and I spent a lot of time journaling about what that looks like for me personally and subsequently since having that experience this theme this concept this um, phrase has come up in other conversations in particular with other women and so i thought it was best for us to explore what living bigger means and to start there i think it's sometimes important for us to think about the opposite of that and what what is living small and and you know, for me, it was a very subconscious thing. I had slipped into a life of routine, which I actually don't like because that's when I get bored and I cannot stand being bored. I don't understand people who say that they're bored in life um, because there's always so much to do, so many things to achieve, so many adventures to have. Um, and I had become a little complacent with where things were in my life um, and the way that I viewed myself and my life. And so it was important for me in that moment to really step up to the plate and say, okay, I'm feeling a little stagnant right now. I feel like I've plateaued on some level. Where in my life do I need to be leveling up next, right? Because it's this constant balance between, you know, um, relationships and friendships and career and family and um, you know hobbies and passions and all of these things that layer upon ourselves and our life and prioritizing which areas need the most love and need the most nurturing um, especially at, at the present time that you're engaged with this concept of what living bigger looks like. And for some of us, stress can really get in the way of us identifying that we have slipped into a pattern or routine or complacency of living smaller than we have the capacity for, right? We settle into a life where it's not a dream life. And the thing about being a human being is that we have the beautiful capacity to do anything, to be anything. And sometimes we allow the confines of societal structures and, you know, socioeconomics and all of the things to keep us living in a state of fear, um, in a state of stress, in a state of desperation. And I think, you know, 
particularly right now with inflation and everything that's going on, that's happening to a lot of people, especially when it comes to their finances. And so when we experience stress like that, we kick in to a survival mode. We kick into fight or flight, right? We, we aren't in our rest and digest moments. And it can make it really difficult to realize that you have to step outside of yourself, get out of your comfort zone, and take the leap of faith, have the courage and the resiliency to step into a direction in your life that is going to take you on a different path. And it can feel exhilarating, but at the same time, it can feel really, really scary. And I think that's what holds a lot of people back. I know certainly in my past, that's what's held me back. And so what does it mean to live bigger for you? Does that mean that you need to live bigger in your current relationship, whether that's romantic or not? And if so, what does that mean? Does that mean that you've been living small in that relationship? You've been staying quiet in order to keep the peace, right? So. If you're staying quiet, who is that keeping the peace for? You know, having hard communication in general, but having hard discussions is, is a serious matter. It, it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of bravery in order to have those conversations. But nine times out of 10, those conversations end up eliciting a very positive response with the other person in your life because they see that you're being vulnerable and they see you're being authentic. They see that you're exposing a, a side of yourself that you've not exposed to them before and they can latch on to that and they can find a level of compassion and empathy for what you're going through. In the other instances, that's just the writing on the wall that this person isn't the person that's meant to be in your life, right? Because if you were exposing yourself and not receiving the support that you would want, then that's not the right friend, partner, whatever that you need to have in your life. For others of you, living big may have to do with your career. You may need to step out of the current role that you're in and into a promotion or into a leadership role and, and, and use the skills and the talent that you have in order to help the company and the organization, whatever you're a part of, to also level up, right? Maybe there are cultural differences and shifts that need to be made, and maybe you're the catalyst for that. You know, for other people, living bigger may mean something even more intangible than that. It may be... Um, getting out of a level of victim consciousness or codependency or some kind of pattern of behavior that's no longer serving you and you've recognized that. You're like, I'm feeling really frustrated with where my life is right now and I'm realizing that I have to own and be accountable to the things that I'm doing that aren't serving me so that I can become the next biggest, better version of myself, right? In order to have a level of independence that I want in my life, in order to feel that freedom that I'm asking for and not receiving, or that I've never attempted to have in my life, right? So living bigger means a lot of things to a lot of different people. So I challenge you, this week, this month, whatever, today, to sit with your thoughts on what that means for you. Where are you happy in your life? Where are you unhappy in your life or are not feeling fulfilled or feeling like you are in some kind of a stagnant cycle in your life? And what are the actionable steps that you can take in order to start getting yourself into the next version, the next chapter that brings you closer to your dream life, right? And then what mind shifts, what mindset or perspective needs to change in you in order to elicit 
all of this action in your life? Those are big, big questions in order to live a big, big life. So I encourage you, if you haven't sat down, if you haven't journaled lately, if you haven't been mindful and engaged with yourself in a quiet space for five to 10 minutes, to really sit and think about those things and what that means to you. And as always, if you'd like to share anything that you're going through, any stories about how you're stepping out into a new life, any help that you need on your journey, please always feel free to either comment below. Uh, a lot of folks like to reach out to me personally um, because their stories are very personal um, and in, comes, in some cases very emotional. And I understand the need for privacy. So whatever works for you, just know, again, as always, I am here. And until we meet again at the next 5D Tea with me, thank you so much for joining. And I wish you all of the best as you step into a bigger, brighter life that is the life that you want. And know that that is not something selfish to ask of yourself, right? Because if you can't keep your cup full, you can't be there to fill the cup of others. You'll be drained of energy. You'll be drained of your life force. It's really important for you to be able to align yourself and to feel satisfied in your heart, in your soul, in order to be able to be of support and um, present and engaged with others. So I hope that all of this made a lot of sense and resonated with you and take what you need and leave what you don't. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for joining.